hi guys and welcome to another video on my channel today we are doing something different if you're new to this channel hello sweetie my name is Naipaul to make sure you follow me on my social media platform this camera is not straight so as you can see by the title of the video um this is a get ready with me see this is it focusing i don't know but yeah um I'm gonna, this way let me show you guys my my basic like most basic makeup look i literally know that i have short hair i just feel it's so necessary to um have makeup on so today is a monday today is a monday and I got an email from this company where they want me to do a little video of myself answering a few questions about legal stuff. So I just figured, hey, let me grab some of my makeup and let me do my makeup. But yeah, I don't think that I'm going to be like talking with you guys because I need to actually prepare and listen to some stuff that I downloaded on my laptop. It's over here. So... Yeah, I'm just going to be looking at what I'm doing. Ugh, my skin feels so amazing. Guys, ever since I started working out, it's been a good week now. This is my second week. I realize how like productive I become when I... When I work out, like I just took, I just did my workout this morning. My morning today started an hour later. I normally start working working out at seven when my daughter leaves for school, um, because she goes to school with her dad. Um, and I, but today was gloomy. It was raining. I wasn't prepared. I was in a bit of a slump because I'm just going through it. And then, as I was chilling, she left just before seven. As I was chilling, low chilling it. And I was just like, you gotta be kidding me. This is a normal motivation to actually do any work out. So, that's what I did. But I only started working on it. At around um, eight, no, I'm lying. At around eight thirty, yeah. Around eight thirty, I started working out and worked for an hour. And after that, I was feeling so energized, so nice. And I took a shower. I wanted to do um, a post workout meal. But I'm like, that's gonna take time. And I really wanna do just a video interview while I'm like while it's still early in the morning and I'm still like super energized from my workout. I just figured let me do it now and not wait for it to be later because there's so much that I do, even though I'm a stay at home mom, but I have um like a schedule every day, like at half past three, I need to pick up my daughter, and I have to cook dinner, right? Let me do my eyebrows off camera. eyebrows check from here on i'm going to be doing a voiceover so right now i'm using the concealer that i use to conceal my eyebrows i'm using it as a primer for my eyelids um so i'm just dabbing it on and blending it out with the foundation brush this is so that whatever eyeshadow that i'm going to be using on my eyelid pops I don't really like using bright colors anymore. I feel like everyone is in their soft glim era. Um, 
so i normally start off with like a very light brown you guys might not even see it on there but if you were with me in person you would see it so that's what i'm just doing right now i start with the lighter color so that i can actually build up because when you start with a darker color i feel like it makes it difficult for you to like fix your mistakes but with a lighter shade you get to build up you get to see how to blend it out i even started adding a little bit of a darker color i don't know if you guys can see that it's getting a bit darker but not too much because i didn't want to look like i'm going to the nightclub i am doing like a video for this company so now i am putting on a glittery uh, sh eyeshadow on my crease um it's looking a bit bright but i feel like it really blends out with my skin and then now i'm just using my concealer brush just to blend out the edges and give me like a nice straight whatever you call it yeah yeah this voiceover thing is not easy so here i think i'm on my laptop just checking something and now it's time for mascara one thing about me i love mascara i love mascara for two reasons the first reason is that i wear spectacles so lashes are a problem are a, pro a problem and the second thing is that with mascara i can build up as much as i want but i can still wear my glasses because when i have individual lashes or when i have strap-ons i can't really wear my my glasses and i'm obsessed with my new frame so i don't have to like be wearing contact lenses all the time i want to wear my glasses so when it comes to mascara like i can literally go five to six even seven layers just so that i can define the lashes Alrighty, then we're gonna go to the face i'm gonna be using this maybelline superstay foundation when I bought it, I didn't test it out, and hence the next step, we are using a darker concealer to tone it down. Guys, I want to show you that even with me trying to tone it down, it's still too light. Can you guys see me looking like Casper the Friendly Ghost? I have to constantly build up and put on a little bit of darker uh, concealer just so that I get... Cl the not the perfect match but close enough to the perfect match i am however doing a step that people don't agree with which is putting foundation underneath my eyes the reason why i did this is because this look is only for 30 i'm gonna have this makeup for 30 minutes i'm doing this interview and then after that i am removing the makeup you'll see at the end that i don't even use powder so i just figured let me just hide my dark circles with the foundation it's whatever and what i also do is that i put on the foundation on my ears on my neck on my forehead and i am going to contour you guys need to trust the process and i don't understand people who don't contour guys why don't you contour you know how flat of a canvas your face looks when you don't contour like your it stresses me and my friend out that why don't people contour now i'm being economical and using my concealer brush to pick up some product and contour my nose with that so i have used a darker foundation and i'm going to use a different brush guys don't use one brush for every single step in your makeup look because for example right now i'm using another clean brush for contouring and when i feel like the contour is too much uh you'll see later i'm gonna use my foundation brush to just blend it out a bit so that it's not too dark it's just enough you know what i mean so i would suggest that you don't use one brush for everything because is it raining oh these floods guys so yeah you see now i'm using the foundation brush just to uh, take away the harsh lines of the contour and i feel cute i feel very happy i am still a black eyeliner girl yes i used to even do eyeliner when i was in high school yes i'm using a cream blush this is not a blush guys it's a you don't remember those old revlon lipsticks i still had one so i'm using it as my blush now that's the, the fun thing about makeup is that even when you're on the street 
nobody can see what you actually use for something as long as everything looks put together everything looks nice you can play with it you know play with it have fun with it and feel pretty and now we are at the last step which is the lips i am going for a very neutral nude very light pink um color and that's the look is it too much i don't think it's too much I also want to do my hair because my hair is short but it has grown just a little bit from the time when I cut it. Um, I relaxed it the other day and um, I just want to wrap it with some mousse and get prepared. But this is basically my look. Um, I feel like it's a cute look. I feel like it's... I'm looking at myself in the mirror. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm looking cute. I feel like it's not too much. What do you guys think? What, you know, could I add? What should I skip? My powder is somewhere very far. But I don't need to have this makeup on for too long. So that's why I'm not even worried about powder. Because I'm just going to do like answer these questions for 30 minutes right now it's 10 30 so probably at 11 i'll be done and i'll get on with my day have my brunch and i'll see you guys in the next vlog but right now let me show you what i do to my hair see my serum is from olay my brushes are from a brand called viv cosmetics i think you can find them on instagram and i used this revlon matte bum as my blush and my um my colors my eyeshadow palette this is also from china city and my lip gloss is from this game i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it's probably like but not play you said literally nothing the video was about the makeup. So these are the things that I actually use for my hair. Well, I firstly go in with this growth oil for my daughter's hair. I need to get my own because this is for kids. But this is some growth oil. And then I put this on like I've shown you. I have a hair brush and a silk scarf. dressed i'm just gonna wear a white button-up shirt nothing crazy i'm gonna wear it over my workout outfits because i'm gonna take it off when i'm done Nice, simple, neat, and onto the point. I look so oily because of this light. Let me turn it off. I don't know what it's. I don't know what it's doing to me. I don't know how I look very dark, but what can I do? It's doing me so hard right now. Ah, I promise you, I look like <laughs> I look like I'm a goatee. I definitely look like a Makoti. Um, so yeah. Let me get going. I think I can take this off now. Huh. 
how do I look, y'all? How do I look? I'm ready to conquer these legal questions and hit them right out of the park. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my social media platform and check out my other content, okay?